guys, what's up? It's Yvette. Welcome back to my channel if you have already subscribed and if you haven't, welcome. My name's Yvette and my channel has recently gone through a name change. It used to be just for fun 1093 but I decided to name it Cooking with Evie with the help of many of my friends on Facebook. Took a poll and that won by an overwhelming majority shopped a different way this time and I'm not sure how I'm gonna frame this video it might be in two pieces I was at the farmers market last week and noticed that they have recently launched online orders and I wanted to give it a try see how it works are they efficient do they pick out good fruits that kind of stuff I know that online ordering is not a new thing but with a lot of businesses kind of having to shut their doors or rethink how they deliver services, I think that it's awesome that a local farmer's market took this shift and decided to run with it. And I mean, I'm pretty happy so far, first impressions. I'm gonna show you what I got, then I'm gonna tell you about my experience. All right, so I wanna start off by saying that I spent about $20 on this haul, it was $19.90 but I ended up giving them a 20. Uh, this farmer's market is the one that I always go to and I always really like the quality of their fruits and veggies and I love their price. When I got there, I just called them and let them know that I was there. There was people standing outside in a line and I was in that line and I decided to call them and ask, hey, do you all need me to be in line or what? And they ended up asking me what kind of car I had and they walked out the groceries to me. You had the option to pay online or pay in person. I let them know that I wanted to pay cash in person and they walked it right out to my car, loaded it in my car and I gave them the cash and I was on my way. It was very nice. So while they were giving me my order, they confirmed all that was in the basket. So for $20, I'm gonna show you what I got. I really like the quality. This is an Andy Boy Romaine Hearts bag. This is three Romaine Hearts it was about a dollar something, I would say, and I really think it looks great quality. Also got a whole bunch of avocados. The avocados were two for a dollar, so I ended up buying $5 worth. And just first glance, it looks like it's pretty good quality. I'm gonna open it up, hold on. So I'm just touching some of the avocados. Some of them look ripe, others feel a little bit more ready. But honestly, I would say like it's pretty decent quality. Oops, there's an av avocado down. Pound of tomatoes. The tomatoes were a dollar a pound, so I did buy one pound. And I actually wanted to buy two chayotes, but I ended up buying two pounds of chayotes, which came out to three chayotes, but that's not bad. I will definitely be using these in soups that I make in the future. And I gotta say, just like first glance, they're really looking like pretty good selection of produce. These apples were like 72 cents a pound, so I ended up buying two pounds. They look very nice. I'm sure the boys will like the it. The blueberries were about a dollar 70. I don't know, I can't exactly remember a uh, package. I did ask for, I guess, two pounds of bananas. I was hoping it would be a little bit more than this, but it was this many bananas, two pounds. They were about 70 cents a pound, so that's what two pounds look like. Uh, I would have ordered more had I known, but that's fine. We do have some bananas already ripe in the house, so this will be good to supplement. I put a special instruction for them to give me recently or decently unripened bananas, so I, I didn't go inside, but these look Fairly green enough, hopefully they will hold us over. I also got some limes. They were 20 cents a lime, so I ended up getting $2 worth. Oranges were also 20 cents an orange, so I ended up getting $2 worth of I'm that. i lay the fruits down and then I'll give you my final thoughts. So here are the items all laid out for you. At first glance, it doesn't look like a lot, but considering how much of things I bought, I think it's a really awesome price. A lot of these, products are locally sourced based on their website so I think it's really awesome to support locally. I think the prices are much better than stores like Publix or even Walmart. I, I really just love this farmer's market. Honestly when I'm just looking through it doesn't look like they gave me like rotting products. They gave me really good 
quality item. So I would definitely use this service again. I think if they keep this around after this crisis, hopefully I will continue to do this. It took me maybe 20 minutes to look through their web page, select the items I wanted. I loved the fact that they let me put special notes on things. $20 for this, can't beat it, honestly. Um, they have organic items. I, I just think it's really awesome. It's really awesome that they found a way to innovate and keep their business going. I really don't see them stopping anytime soon. It's worth the money. They don't charge extra. I went and picked it up. They were wearing masks when I went there in the store last week. It looks like they were really good about keeping social distance. And so I feel very good about the quality and safety of these products. Obviously, I want to keep businesses running, so I do want to support them while also being responsible and trying to minimize my contact. I just, it's a win, y'all. If you have anything like this in your area, let me know how it's working. Have you used any local online services? Are your local farmer's markets pivoting, doing something different to keep business going? Let me know. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I hope you will consider subscribing for more content and I hope you guys are safe. Please let me know down in the comments how you're coping and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.